This video is titled Connector Problems and this chapter focuses on using minimum spanning trees to solve real life problems. So if we read example one, it says the following vertices represent NBN fiber nodes. We can see our network diagram below with our vertices. The edges represent possible lengths of cable that can connect the nodes. The weight of each edge is in meters. So basically what we're doing is we're trying to connect all the fiber nodes together using the smallest amount of cable. Question A says create a minimum spanning tree for this graph. Now when I do this I like to use Kruskal's algorithm and I like to focus on on the edges. So the smallest edges I can see is the 260 so I'm going to connect two vertices with that edge and the 280 so I'm going to connect these vertices here. After doing that I'm going to move up to the next smallest uh, edges and the next smallest ones I can see have a size of 310. So I've got one here, another one here, and another one here. Being careful that we don't make any cycles as we do this. All right, what's the next biggest from 310? I can see one that's 320 meters long and next is 350. So I'm going to connect this one here and I'm not going to connect the one I'm circling right now, otherwise I'll create a cycle. So I'm going to leave that blank, but I will connect one over here on the far right. That's 350 meters long. All right, moving up from 350, the next smallest one is 390. So I'll connect that one. And when I look at my diagram, I can see that every single vertex is connected. So I can now stop. Uh, it's worked out really well because all the lengths in the 400s are the ones that are left over. So that's really good to see. Okay, now moving on to question B. What is the minimum length of cable required to join all the nodes? So I'm going to add together all of these lengths, um, starting at the 260 length here, then adding 310. I'm just following along the edges, plus another 310, plus 350 plus 390, plus 310, and then I've got 280, 320, plus 350. So if I add up all the edges I've colored in red, I should get the total length of wire required. Now when I added them all up, I got 2,880 meters. So I need 2,880 meters of cable to connect all these NBN fiber nodes. Anyway, that concludes example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.